you go to the Equihawk website and then you go to the products tab and you select the heat map per page, you can go then click on the overview and download section and download the software for free. After you download the software, you can go down to the how to, how to use tab to get a perfect description on how to use the, the software to do all the duties that you want it to perform and provide a great uh, start and introduction to using the software. From here, you load the software onto your PC and then you have two options. You can either use a uh, upload a map, which is the recommended uh, part of the way to do it, or if, if you don't, you can use what they call a grid and you can base it on a, a, grid, a, grid, a grid layout of the building or a floor that you're going to be working on. For us, we were able to get a floor, floor plan of the first floor of Heinz Hall. So we'll, we'll you know, show you how that looks now. So you open it up, and you have to go to your wherever your, your image is, and ours is going to be under our desktop. So we, here we have our Heinz Hall AP list. And you choose your image, the software will load, and then you can just uh, shrink it down to where it's effective. You can see on the left hand side, it's already shown access points and the channels, their megabits, uh, the SSIDs, and even the MAC addresses of the machines, which is really helpful to see when you're doing your survey. You can see what is existing for wireless networks already and how well they are being picked up by the software. To start the survey, you go to your map, you do a, a left click to start it and then as you walk around literally with a laptop in your hand just keep on clicking on it every couple seconds as you walk this is to define your area on the map as you can see it makes a, a trace every single spot that you click that way it, it picks up the, the signals the wireless signals that are being broadcasted out of the APs and are able to define the heat map of the location that you're in so once you get done surveying the area and clicking and clicking you keep on going until you reach this point where you feel that you have a good idea where the, the service area the service area is that you want to test and keep on going until you're done and then you right click on the software and you can see that it picks up first of all it shows uh, the general layout for all the access points and to get a, a, um, an individual perspective you, you hover the mouse over each one and it'll provide the heat map for that individual AP and also some really good information on what the SSIDs are, um, what channels are working on, and what um, wireless networks they're on, either A, B, G, or N. And this is for each one of the access points that you come into contact with. So you can see the different colors that are showing on the, the floor plan of the heat map though for that, e that individual AP. And this is what makes uh, how the software works, and this is what makes it a great tool to use to, want to uh, have an idea of what wireless coverage is in the, a selected area of your building or your business or your house or anything like that you feel that you need to do a wireless survey on. So after I walking around the first floor and after I collect the information of it, I will right click the screen and uh, the screen will be displayed as this. As we see that it, it is shows uh, every AP's coverage when we press uh, on one AP. We can see the coverage of this AP. As well, we can see the signal strength and the SSID. So in this way, uh, you could make the map of the IP for your uh, organization or the company. Okay, so that's basically what we want to dis uh, show in this video. Uh, this is Quan and uh, Nathan from iSchool Syracuse Un University. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.